Welcome to the Hockey Dads Way Too Early NHL Season and Playoff Predictions. This is how it's going to go in the regular season, and I'm going to go through how it will go round by round until we get a Stanley Cup champion. Let's start with the Pacific Division here. And looking at these teams, Vegas Golden Knights, even without Marc-Andre Fleury, they are number one. Number two, Connor McDavid, Dreisaitl, RNH, Nurse, throw in Zach Hyman there, and I think they're going to grab a goalie. They're going to take second. LA Kings are going to surprise some players. They got some good young guys, key veterans. They're going number three. I like the pickup of Arvidsson. Number four, I'm going Vancouver Canucks. Yes, Hughes and Pedersen will be signed. Calgary Flames, I think they're still in for another rough year. Goudreau Monahan will be done after this year. Then we go Seattle. They'll be close with Calgary, San Jose, and the Ducks. Um, Ducks probably going to get rid of Gibson. Maybe Gibson goes to the Oilers. I don't know how they make that cap work or whatever, but possibly San Jose edges out them. For the Central, Colorado, number one. Just look at their team. I like Darcy Kemper. Two is the Winnipeg Jets. They'll be better this year. Minnesota, number three. St. Louis, number four. Dallas on the outside looking in again. Um, within that top four. Chicago, even with Marc-Andre Fleury, they don't make the playoffs. Even with Taze, Nashville, and Arizona with their crummy D. Metro, Islanders, Carolina, Washington, Pittsburgh. Philly misses. New York misses. New Jersey misses, even though they take a, a step. Columbus they are bad as well, but they look good in that prospect tournament, didn't they? Chinnikov, wow. Atlantic, we're going Tampa Bay. Toronto at number two, surprisingly. Boston, three. Florida, four. Montreal, Ottawa, Detroit. And, of course, the Buffalo Sabres without Jack Eichel. So this is uh, what I have going into the playoffs. Now let's see who's getting first, wild cards, etc. So this is what I got. Tampa, one. Wild card, two. Pittsburgh, all right, that's, that's what I have there. Toronto versus Boston. I expect another seven-game series. <laughs> Toronto, I think they're going to be the home team. Boston at three. Islanders, top team in the Metro against the Florida Panthers. Okay, they're wild card number one, so I think they're going to get more points in Pittsburgh. Carolina, Washington Capitals. In the West, Vegas Golden Knights. I think they're going to be number one. They're going to play wild card two, St. Louis Blues. Um, no, no, let's not do that. Dallas Stars are going to make it this year. They are going to make it. They're going to make it in, but they have to play Vegas first because they're healthy. Sagan's back, etc. Um, LA is going to surprise everyone. They're going to play the Oilers. Colorado play St. Louis again. Winnipeg versus Minnesota, and then Philly, New York, Montreal, etc. Out of the playoffs, and this is the order as well. So Philly, the most points. All the way down to Buffalo. Arizona could be anywhere. They could be up more. They could be down more. Uh, they don't have the goaltending, but Arizona just somehow gets things done. I think Phil Kessel might be gone, though, for them. That's just, uh, that's just my thoughts. Uh, Columbus, they, they have the opportunity. They got the, the good D, Wierenski signed. Maybe Domi has a better year. Line a has a better year. But as of now, they're sticking where they are bottom four so after that first round tampa bay beats pittsburgh and i'll say they beat them about five toronto somehow beats boston finally i have to do it i'm going to go for it in seven islanders beat carol um islanders win against florida carolina they're going to take out the uh, the washington capitals vegas moves on oilers beat la colorado moves on winnipeg loses to minnesota now out of this Tampa Bay are just too strong for the Maple Leafs. They are. They are. Um, Islanders, I think they're too strong for Carolina. Just the way they played last year against Tampa Bay, I think they can shut down Carolina. Carolina without Hamilton, it's a, it's a big loss. Uh, with the Golden Knights, with them versus the Oilers, I don't know if I trust the Golden Knights. That's, that's me being honest. Colorado versus Minnesota. Again, Colorado just seems to, to go flat at times. So, so who, who do I think is going to make it out of this? Out of all this, who, who are the teams going to be? Well, Tampa Bay taking out Toronto, I'm going to guess, in five or six. Islanders taking out Carolina. I expect a long series, maybe six or seven. Oilers are going to shock the Golden Knights. The Golden Knights are going to fail again. And Minnesota is going to finally topple the Avs. 
I know the Avs have their way usually with Minnesota. Kaprizov will be signed. Talbot and Kaukinen or whatever, they're going to play great. Something's going to happen. I'm guessing maybe an injury or something like that with the Avs. Remember, this is just a prediction. And they don't make it again. And then changes are afoot. Uh, same with in Vegas. Changes are afoot. So we got Tampa and the Isles again. And this time, Oilers. Connor McDavid makes it to the West Conference Final. Uh, I know not many people would guess that. So that's why I put him in there. And Minnesota, I think they have it. I think they have it in them in the Western Conference to make the final. So what would be the Stanley Cup final? Well, the Islanders beat the Bolts in Game 7. Vasilevsky does not get the shutout. It could be the other way around. Um, and, and Varlamov or Sorokin could have the, uh, the shutout. Uh, Islanders beat them finally. And the Edmonton Oilers topple. The Minnesota Wild, because Connor McDavid can taste it. And he goes out of this world. Zach Hyman is injury-free. Uh, the Oilers obviously have picked up a goalie. It's not Mike Smith. It's not Koskinen in net. They're ready for the, the Stanley Cup final. Can they overcome the Islanders? And the answer is no, they can't overcome the Islanders. They just can't because, because the Islanders just can shut down. They can shut you down. Even with Tampa Bay last year, they had shut them down. They were, they were tight games. Um, maybe some mistakes that cost them. I think this year they have the team, they have the depth to really push and go for it. And Lamorello will spend if need be. Oilers, Oilers, Edmonton Oilers, you come close. McDavid see, he sees the cup in his sights. But the Islanders, they focus on him. They shut him down. They shut Dre Seidel down. And they just can't do it, I would say. Let's say Islanders in six. Okay, I'll give Edmonton two. Um, I'm only going by this with Edmonton picking up a goalie. If they have Mike Smith or Koskinen, they will not make it this far. I'm predicting Edmonton's going to grab a goalie. So that's it. Those are my predictions. Let me know what you think. We're going all the way through the season. Comment down below your thoughts. Uh, the New York Islanders, Stanley Cup champions. That's my pick. Lou Lamorello wins another one with the 2,000 Devils being on his third line. That's it for me. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Take care, everyone. And I know I didn't pick them to, to win the Stanley Cup, but I'm biased. Go Leafs, go. Take care, everyone.